Hello and welcome back to the starting guide of RimWorld. In this short tutorial guide you will get to know what you need to know for the first few days slash weeks in RimWorld. And if you haven't missed uh, if you missed episode one, go check down the links below or in the description and check out that video first because you're going to need it. And for now, we are going to focus on, well, we're kind of expanding. And we are going to show you quests, we're going to show you inventory, we're going to show you technology. We're going to do a lot of fun stuff. But first, we are did the research. So I've done the most basic thing you need, battery and solar. Those are the basic things you need. And with those things, we've already made the batteries in this area. I always suggest making them in some kind of stony protected area because if you make them in a wooden hut and you get some kind of yeah, short circuits, it will burn down your entire place. So the basic plan is I made some extra room so that everybody got his own room. I've placed up uh, a heating spot in the middle of the main room that way this get heated and as you can see in the right corner is indoor 28 degree I've been retrying sometimes and I got a lot of uh, frostbite issues because winter is slowly coming it's fall and yeah you want to have a lot of wood stored up and I kind of want to get all this harvest get done I need more space so I'm building a well, kind of storage space with a freezing area and a little cooking area in this section so we're going to move the butchery and the uh, well the cooking spot but maybe we'll make it electricity but I'm not quite sure about that I want to keep the the basic fuel stove ready and running so that when we don't have electricity we can still cook and I want to keep all the food ready so after we got this area ready we are going to hunt uh, well I did some hunting here but for now we are stacking up wood we're stacking up medicine before the winter is coming that's the most important thing now as you can see this these rocks aren't getting well placed in my inventory and that's kind of strange because well you would expect inventory will put it everything in this stockpile zone but it does not there's a nice little button here called storage and well this is kind of the default setting and that's the one I wouldn't recommend if you got two uh, stocking zones I want to make one for the food and the fresh meat uh, raw food and meats chocolate and all these kind of things I want them to be in one place and I don't want to be the rotten stuff with it I want it to be cool that's why I left a little spot out and that way I'm going to defend that with some turrets in the future but we're we'll way far from that and all of the rest we will get in here but these rocks are chunks and they are not allowed corpses I mostly if you if you don't make all these burial zone I would suggest you make some spot like over here make it indoor and drop some corpses over there that would also be a sufficient way to do it all right for now uh, we are going to build this and I would suggest well going through this what do you want in which position for now we're going to do some of the building stuff because well I got my batteries ready I got solar and I kind of want to have my batteries full so I'm going to start with three of these and I'm going to connect them and now we only need them to be built Gabe is already going going to drop the stuff that's needed because there's a lot of uh, steel needed for these and if that is done we can go with the last part that we need to at least survive and that's the heating and cooling system now as you can see I picked the cooler 
and it's got a red and a blue one and we want to cool it so the blue one goes in and the red one goes out that's the most important thing you can also do it the other way around that way and we're going to build one there and that way this is going to be warmed all right my batteries are getting charged and maybe i'm going to build one more battery and maybe sometime in the winter we're going to put a heater in this area what we could have done with a heater as well hmm. all right cape is already doing the harvesting and tangrel is, is kind of uh, yeah how do you say that he's my problem guy and let's see if his pants were ready is his jacket already ready i made because this guy got special needs it's it's, it's kind of he needs a lot of recreations and he doesn't like ugly environments so well we need to clean up a lot uh prioritize cleaning so that way we're going to clean everything up and well this the beauty is kind of minus five very dirty oh very dirty i thought you were cleaning up clean yes it's it's pretty hard for him to keep everything up and running but well i'm stacking up for the winter and that's the most important thing for me at the moment because i need the food all right how hot is it in here now we got 27 degree i wonder if we can deconstruct this one because i kind of not feel safe with fire inside so otherwise we're going to do let's see it's dropping dropping we want to make it a little bit nicer for him but it's quite hard temperature no what can we do to make it even more better and these are lightings all right so this is going to be one i wonder if they turn off the lighting themselves so that's one no i'm not quite sure about that one all right as you can see the batteries really need to be Ooh, that's kind of funny the lightning does give a little bit of electricity <laughs> what is gaps doing What are you doing? Praying. All right. Interesting. As you can see, you can see what they're doing in the left bottom in the menu. He's now building. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. That was something I didn't want to happen. Don't destroy my stuff. Last time I had lightning and I it struck fire over here and it struck fire over in this section. And that was quite annoying. But oh well, what do you do? What do you do? There's nothing we can do. Let them all sleep. And we got at least a lot of wood stored up. And we're almost ready for let's speed it up a little bit we're missing one. Oh, marcel is over there all right and uh, we need to place floors i almost forgot i was i found a country kind of why the floor wasn't going over there but i haven't made it so oh man water rain water rain and that's what i meant the fire well this time it's going down pretty fast but it it can be let's take a look at the map if there's somewhere yeah over here there is fire and it can spread pretty fast all right i really need something with 
what's happening no i thought it was something going to happen so clothing is one of the more important things uh that is kind of sometimes a problem and i got i think one who can cannot make jacket material well you should be able to make the button sure did you make that one already no that's all the crappy stuff all right i guess we are going to make a new bill to make the tribal you can make the tribal one why aren't you making the tribal clothes can i make jackets that's kind of strange should be able to make the tribal jacket but somehow it doesn't do right at least this should help him a little bit spacious interior very low expectation the mood should be going up yes it does beauty swap some beauty but as you can see the batteries aren't holding i need way more oh and we get a rate sometimes you get a rate well you got a lot of rates and this time we got frank frank thinks he's going to kick our butt and i would normally pause the game because this this gives us a perfect way to explain we got we got one gaps with a pistol and i think where's the other one falcon is the other one no he gets the club who's got the gun marshall got the gun yes marshall got the gun all right so there's one raider coming in here somewhere over here where is he he should be coming from somewhere did he leave it looks like he left oh he's already checking out all right didn't expect that to happen oh no he did not He's beginning his assault. I'm letting him come pretty close. All right, then next thing that's going to happen. You are going to push the draft. Make sure uh, you got weapons equipped. Well, Falcon, no, you're not going to go with this. Marshall, you are going to go. Uh, let's see, you are going to go here and Gaps is going to go. Well, let's put her next to here and rimwell is taking a little bit of a cover system it's when you go behind well uh, sandbags we got for defense uh, security let me show sandbags spike traps you can make a lot of things in the research there is a lot of other stuff we can do machinery why can we do machinery locked by smitting all right all right that explains a lot we can do flag armor smoke bells prestige and extended gun perts those are kind of neat but i wouldn't prioritize on that stuff there's a lot of stuff you can do here but well smithing will build you will be able to build knives and that kind of stuff we'll do that one as soon as this one is done but well i kind of like to rapidly grow crops indoor because soon it's going to be winter and i'm in a one hell of a mountain space so i could make in this wall area a pretty good hydroponic area and i kind of want to have that as you can see these aren't enough so the next thing um that we are going to research is or the water mill uh, well let's first focus on the defense so as i was saying rimwell is having some kind of cover system a little bit if you go behind the sandbags oh my god he got a machine gun this is not a good thing all right frank is getting hit gaps is already also getting hit I want that gun. I definitely want that gun. All 
All right, major breaking risk from who? Well, I don't care at the moment. Draft. I'm kind of taking risk because I got two people shooting at him and well, they can hit Valken as well. All right, don't hit my Valken. All right. I definitely want his machine gun. Mach machine pistol. Uh, we're going to strip him as well. We, the one thing you need to remember is you need to put them all out of draft mode. And uh, well, some people do need medic attention. Strip Frank, we could capture him. Do we want another one? Is he good? He got high medical skills. Oh man, this guy is interesting. It's kind of funny, we, he's incapable of fire. Oh, wait a second. This is the first time I kind of look at the traits because normally I find it kind of interesting to see what's going to happen without knowing their traits. But this guy is a fast walker. That's not that interesting, but Marshall lost fire. He never extinguished fire to relieve stress. He will occasionally go random start fire. And that's kind of dangerous. This happens more often if he's in low mood. So this guy, well, it's kind of dangerous. So this is a troubling decision. Do we want extra people? Because he has a high medical skill. He's a medical assistant. And he's got cooking skills. He got crafting skills. That way we can do a lot. So, well, I guess we are going to capture him. And because of these rooms, we've got a lot of options now. What are you going to do? Building a roof. For where? Why are you doing that on that side? Oh, you need to go all the way around. So Falcon is getting the priority priority medical. Uh, we said that I need to always look that up because I got one medical bed. And uh, man, I always need to look that up. Where is it? Where is it? Animal, oh no, no. Oh great goodness. Needs, bio, health, health. There it was. Um, here you can put, well, I did I think I said that in the last episode as well, but you can set the medical resources and Frank will get, well, let's put it at herbal medicines. Worst, his right foot got a gunshot. Well, he does need medical attention. Did we pick up the gun because that gun is kind of interesting and I want, where's my, that one, I want you to have you, that gun because you're, are you good with guns? No, you're good with melee. Tangle, you're also good with, I kind of don't have anybody, well if Frankie joins us he will be able to get the gun until now, well. We'll drop it there. I first need to have the medical situation under control. Because if Frank dies, he's no longer incapable of walking. That's interesting. Major breaking risk. Why are you always in a breaking risk? Why, why, why? Still that shirt. <laughs> we really an ugly environment. Well, darkness. All right, all right. And as you can see, the power is not enough to focus my battery, so I will have to do a lot more to get this fixed. Minor breaking risk. Two times. Mm. 
All right, what's this? This is this is a yellow button, and that's always something that's kind of dangerous. Tangle is on an insulting spree. He will wander around randomly insulting others. This will happen because of poor mood. The final straw was his tainted button shirt. Oh my god. Well, we can give you another shirt, can we? But at the moment, we cannot do anything with him. All right. Well, I don't mind. He will talk to everybody. I guess we really need to fix that button and shirt that he has. And you can look at the bills. I was making a tribal pen, but that one is due X time. One time I wanted to make a jacket. And for the jacket, we kind of have everything we need. Require 70 ingredients, work around, non suspended. Any work we can do so. So it, if we have the materials, then we should be able to make it. But at the moment, we are just focusing on a major break risk. There's nothing really we can do. I guess a lot of people are kind of pissed off now because they are trying to get sleep. Kind of want you prioritize clean the blood because, well, I want to, don't want Tangle to be any more pissed off. I want the lights to go on that way. We will be able to, yeah, finally getting power. Now we only need to get the batteries up in full. All right. Now Frank is in a prison bed and in a prison bed you can set if you want to recruit him or not and I totally forget about it the difficulty is 95% that's a lot so we are going to try first lower the resistance and Tangle is kind of the only social guy I have he is social with 13 so he will also learn if you hover over it you'll see the number grow it's now at 6,000. Well, it, it won't go fast, but oh, sometimes it even goes down progress. That's kind of funny. So not every... Did you strip him? Oh, maybe, maybe prior to force, we're going to, we're going to give him... Is now your problem gone? With your tangle button shirt. Having two pieces of apparently someone died. That creeped me out. So, oh, uh, well, this isn't going to work. I really need to make him close myself. So, let's see if there's anything we can make. Pants, parka, travel wear, bowered hat. Make a button down shirt. He kind of hates those. So let's make a t shirt. And I need resources for that. So we're going to find some animals. Animals to hunt. Are there anybody? Enemy? Any animals just close by? I guess not. They're all far away. All right, so this is kind of interesting because we got the alpaca here and we also got the ibag ram. The ibag ram can be aggressive and, well, it kind of warns you, but revenge chance to on harm is 2%. And 2% doesn't look that much, but, well, the 
alpaca has zero so if you want if you don't have good shooters you don't have good hunters well go for the alpaca and definitely not go for the mega slob because that guy gets a revenge of 10% uh, and I wouldn't suggest doing that for now we're going to hunt some alpacas because I want the leather that's something we need I don't need the wood but well is he going to shoot them now in the middle of the night Marcel all right interesting and he doesn't finish the job he just goes interesting all right gaps goes back to bed and we're going to speed it up or we are already at high speed you definitely need to stockpile the wood the food uh, and kind of get some more warm clothes that's just important to be that before the winter i'm already in the fall december will be my winter right how is he going A social all right we got acceptance that's good Marcel is doing a good job seriously pain how's the resistance we certainly lower the resistance but that is how you capture people now I got one more thing to show and we're going to do that we got a mission a prisoner camp and I was going to go with uh, let's see with Gabs but he is still hurt how long will that take bandages left leg efficiency weakened kind of want to go once he's healed up because I do need two people to go on this mission what we are going to do is we're going to rescue a guy oh man you're a horrible shooter Marcel major breaking risk again of gaps oh come on gaps do we got any good medicine yes we got good medicine left All right, now I want to have this uh, area ready. We are going to make our freezer. And let's see, order structure, no, first temperature. Let's make a cooler. Not enough. Well, I don't mind. We're, we will get some metal. There's plenty of that over here, so allow to pick up and we need uh, some floors kind of want to have a nice floor and we are going to order structure we're going to make pretty nice wall next to this place and a door all right now maybe i'll fix that later on so this is going to be my freezer room i'm going to change the butcher and the uh, furnace in there that way we don't need to walk all the way over there and we are going to set a zone zone goes over there and this zone is going to be special yeah so this zone uh, will allow fresh of food or well, kind of clear all that's the easiest way allow not rotten food we are going to allow food and animal corpses that's kind of the only thing I want in there and that way I'm going to put this section uh, what we are going to do in this section we are going to allow or disallow food 
Well, um, allow organic things that haven't started rotten yet. All right. Don't want to do that. Allow rotten. Mm, no, no. We're going to do it this way. That way, all the food will be moved to the other area. Tainted appearance. Oh my god. Oh well, oh well. Alright, Gaps is ready. So we are going to start the caravan. Batteries are slowly growing. Well, we'll take a look at that later. But we are going to start a caravan. How do you start a caravan? Well, you can click on the world. No, that's not how it works. You need to click on your own area. Oh, and I forgot one thing. I need to set a caravan area. So the first thing you need to do is make a little zone. And zone, where is it? I need to set a caravan zone and mystical. Yes, there it is. Party caravan parking spot. Doesn't need to be large. And I'm not quite sure where we're going to park it. Well, let's. Can I make one big zone? No. All right. I'm also not quite sure if I need more than one spot. I guess I only need one little damn block. So if I'm only going to need one little damn block, I'm going to put it quite close over here. All right, this is my, my caravan packing spot. Now we go to the world map, we're going to the Form caravan button, also known with the H button, and we are going to put these two guys. All right, we can also sell them. That's interesting. <laughs> and we are going to choose a route. I want to go to this section. Right button to put, and all right, route has been chosen except the caravan only has 0 0.6 days worth of food and will become hungry pretty quickly are you sure you want to form this caravan well i kind of want to have them to have food and you need to put items that they need so we're going to put some smart stuff in there I went looking for what I already got. What's this? Mega slot park model. Hmm. I didn't even know I had that one. All right, but focus on one thing at the same time. Uh, we're going to give them uh, some chocolate uh, because that's just going to stay good. And we're going to give them five simple meals. How long is the route? They arrive in 0 0.9 days, so this should be able to do it. Confirm. And now it's a matter of unpausing. And let's go back. As you can see, these two are now walking. They are walking over the map. And now you should be able to see them move on the big map. So. There are a few things you need to know when going into enemy place. The first thing, if you select all your people, you can go out by clicking in the black area and you will go back to you, your own encampment on the world map and you will travel back. The second thing is these buggy little things here are turrets and well, you need to take out the turrets or take out the solars or take out the batteries. I'm suggesting doing the batteries first and then the last thing we got one guard we need to terminate her as well uh, in a few minutes we are going to demonstrate what the cover system is going to be uh, that's kind of annoying because you that way you're never going to hit that one. Oh yes you can also shoot it that one first all right let's walk back
We got bigger range weapons. That's kind of fun. But as you can see, Harriet will take cover. But the fun thing is, I can take cover as well. The annoying thing is... Well, we kind of need to melee attack to get that one down. Shoulder, alright, extreme pain, that's good, and she's done. I want you to pick up, allow, and allow. I want you to uh, pick up the machine gun, and you are going into melee mode. And going to take down the battery. At the moment, we are at well force at normal speed but well we kind of know that soon enough we'll be able to do that pick up these meals uh, pick up all the meals all right now we're taking the batteries off from pretty far distance and that's going to take uh, some time as you can see, would be fun. All right, that one's already destroyed. Now I want you to take down that one. The turret has a range of this, so I'm going to put you in here and hopefully you be. Oh, shoot. Uh, you get the hell out of there. I was expecting that would go out of battery, but that's because the sun is still up. Alright, so we are going to focus on the battery because it's soon going to be dark. Alright. Now, why can you not shoot that? Well, we need to wait until there is no solar power. That one's already down. But I'm never 100% uh, sure. Come on, come on, come on, take it down that way. 900 pack, that's at my own location. I guess it's at my own location. 900 pack, where is it? I'm not seeing it. Tangrels, you're slaughtering everything there. You defeat all the enemies or the caravan will automatically return. Alright, so that's done. Now you guys are going to try and knock down the door. And the last thing you need to do is free the prisoner. Going to allow all this. So, uh, you guys are going to pick everything up. What's this? <coughs> Press frozen and won't spoil. Allow to pick up. So, gaps, uh, pick up. Pick up all you. Pick up all potatoes. Pick up everything. Pick up all. Pick up all. And pick up all. Now, we only need to go do one thing. You are going to sleep. No, you are going to walk with us to the border. And the last thing, it worked. Jump to locations. Last time I could, was able to... Oh, Harriet is still not dead. We'll need to fix that first. Let's kill Harriet. And allow... Now we should be able to go to the world map. And reform caravan. Everybody is allowed to go. Choose route. 
I want you to go back, choose route, and everything we are going to take, everything with us. Uh, let's see, let's see, do we? Yeah, we need to take everything with us. This is kind of, can we take more stuff? Because I love taking stuff. I don't want to take Harriet. No, I, and I don't want to take the marble chunk. I'm definitely not want to take the marble stuff. Well, we definitely not want to take her. I do want to take the mini turrets. Those are interesting. Steel bed, can we take that? No, that's too much. All right, I guess this is going to be it. Okay, take steel tie, accept and go. Now we need to go back to our position because we're having kind of cold problem. Major breaking risk while knee warm close. But this will be it for now. I hope you guys all enjoyed this little starting guide. And next week we're going to play through the rest of the game a little bit more. And well, we're going to see what we can learn then. I definitely want to set up a water mill because ooh, we got a monkey here. That's new. Never got monkey in this area. But we are going to set up these uh, areas as how they should be. And well, I'm going to set up a turret on this area and a turret on the front door. The only thing we now know we now need is a battery. Working batteries. And uh, well, see you all at the next video. If you got any comment, tips, tricks or anything you want to say, put it in the comment down below. If you're not already, subscribe, push the subscribe button. It really helps my channel to grow and make possible for me to make more videos. Well, see y'all at the next starting out at Wormworld.